Guys, today, Bessie sent me back 100 million years to the Jurassic period. Uh, there's creatures like woolly mammoths, giant vultures, skeleton pterodactyls, vicious crocodiles, and also cavemen. Uh, in order to escape, I have to defeat two different bosses, uh, the saber-toothed tiger and also the skeleton T-Rex. If you guys think I can do it, slap like with your forehead. Oh my, oh gosh, my gosh, this eagle. eagle. Get out of here! Why, hello there, good sir. You must be my contact for the day. Welcome to the Jurassic cage. In this challenging survival-focused world, you will find many primal mobs, bosses, and even dinosaurs. I have a chest with items behind me to get you started exploring the world. Good luck. Yo, this bird needs to stop for two seconds. Please, bird, I'm trying to talk to the shaman. Let's see what goodies we have today. Oh, sweet. Oh, good job. I'm gonna kill you. Get the sword. I also could use a bow and arrow. Bow with power two should definitely be able to kill the giant flappy bird. Where is it at? Where is this little... Get, get out of here. So every single prehistoric creature in today's video is out to kill me. All right, let's make sure that we gear up. We'll have everything that we need in order to find the saber-toothed tiger and also the T-Rex. Be sure to stick until the end to see if I'm able to defeat them. And supposedly, if I can defeat them, I can actually tame them and have them as my pets. So I'm thinking, if I can tame them as my pets, I should probably go to the saber-toothed tiger location first. That way, if I can defeat it, I should be able to tame it and ride it to the skeleton T-Rex. And then maybe it'll actually help me defeat the T-Rex. Bro, wait, we've already found diamonds? This is sweet. And we also have cooked deer. So around the world, we'll also find some villages where we can gear up and maybe find some other creatures. Bro, this woolly mammoth is massive man. I'm the size of like half of its leg. Luckily, they don't seem to be too hostile. Do -do -do oh, why? It just came out of nowhere, man. All right, we will engage. This is actually going to be good training. Why are the birds out to kill me? If I'm going to be able to defeat a saber-toothed tiger, I definitely need to do some training on some of the other prehistoric animals here, like the flapping birds. Get out of here, googly boogly. I will destroy you with my insanely powerful bow tactics. What is this? A yak? Are you a yik yak? All right, Mr. Yak, you seem to be actually one of the only friendly creatures in this world, so I will leave you be. The birds need to chill. <laughs> I need a bird nest? Yo, that's a big bird. Uh, not the one from Elmo. That was just like a giant eagle. Wait, have I just been fighting the baby birds? So because we're stuck in the Jurassic period, most of the creatures back then were much bigger than they are now. That's probably why there's giant birds. I don't, however, know why the birds are trying to kill me. Maybe they ran out of food and I am the only food source in the area that they think is suitable for killing. But I don't know exactly why they wouldn't try to go after some other things like a fish. I'm definitely more tasty. Well, I'm not as tasty as a fish. Fish. A fish is way more tasty than me. We're getting distracted. I need to stop talking about all of the different fish and the birds. We'll save that for another time, Jack. Beck bro, Cookie Man needs to escape the Jurassic period. This is way before the time when they had any sort of idea what a cookie is. I don't even think that they had sugar in the Jurassic period. I don't even think that there were people. I'm actually not entirely sure how that caveman exists. I also want to let you guys in on the story of how I got trapped 100 million years ago in the Jurassic period. First off, it was Bessie's fault. She told me to do some random experiment where I was shrinking down and going inside some robotic device and I fixed it for her. She promised me that I would get cookies. She gave me one single cookie and I did like 10 hours worth of work. So I got a little bit angry and I decided to break into her cookie stash and steal every single one of her cookies. I only stole 12,392 cookies, so I don't know why she was so angry, but she shot me with her time machine gun. And yes, that is the story of how I got trapped all the way back in the Jurassic period. I am literally going to end every bird life. Where are they even coming from? I swear, your nest was around like two minutes ago. Why would you not just go back to your nest? Wait, guys, guys, I think that's it. Way over there in the distance, that is where we can find the saber-toothed tiger. What is that? Ooh, that is a massive snow leopard. It looks so cute, but it is definitely not going to cuddle. Bro, this thing looks... I'm gonna kill you! Snow Leopard looks way too big for me. I do not want to try to get close to pet it. Even though I would love to do that, at the same time, I think it would eat me in about three bites. I value my life, so we're gonna go ahead and keep moving towards the saber-toothed ti uh, ti uh, cat. Is it a, is it a saber-toothed cat or a saber-toothed tiger? I do not like you birds. They are bullying me. This is actually bullying at this point. Come on down, do it again. Do it again. I, I flip and dare you. Do it again, bird. That's a big bird. That's the biggest bird I've ever seen. I don't like the birds. Just, just let me 
a long for two seconds. I just want to go fight the saber tooth tiger and then I can tame it and then I can go fight the T-Rex. Now, I don't like this. All right, you're dead, birds. Go back to where you came from. I am going to become the best darn bird sniper the world has ever seen. Boom, snipe. Boom, boom. Sniped. Nope, sniped. No, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, um, momento. Um, would you please stop flapping your wings in different directions here? Would you guys stay still for two seconds so I can kill you? Thank you very much. And finally, we've gotten rid of all the birds. No more birds. All right, let's go ahead and cross to the other side. Oh my God, is that a crocodile? What? Why are there giant lizards? I didn't know crocodiles existed back then. Or actually, wait a second. I think I did. Somewhere I read that crocodiles are one of the literally like oldest creatures to ever roam the earth. So many other creatures back then went extinct, but crocodiles used to be massive, but they shrunk down as the world sort of evolved over the years. But I'm pretty sure that they almost are pretty much the same that they were, you know, back in the Jurassic period. What is this? It's just a baby bear. Baby bear, do you want to be my friend? No, it does not. How do the birds keep finding me? I don't like birds. Birds, birds make me sad. What, what was that? What was that? Was that a bird? Oh wait, it's a vulture. They have evolved. Vultures are now trying to kill me. Maybe I can find something in this little tiny area that'll help me. Oh, I can. The Totem of Undying and the shield. Come on down, bird. Do your worst. Die! To snipe you. Please leave me alone. What else do I have? Oh, I could get a flint and steel and I could set the birds on fire. That'll teach the birds. That's where the saber tooth tiger is. So I think the best approach is to just climb up that little ridge right there. What the flip are you doing now? Bro, Mr. Yak, I thought we were friends from earlier, man. Me and yes, Mr. Yak are apparently not good friends. The only thing that hasn't tried to attack me yet today is a fish. Well, that's nice. Look, somebody built a walkway all the way up to the top. Wait, that means that somebody's been here before. Saber tooth tigers do not know how to build. At least not that I know of. What's up, fellas? How's everybody doing? What's up? You just yik yakking around? We've made it to the top. I don't see a saber tooth tiger anywhere, though. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Uh, let's go check out the chest. We can pick up a few extra arrows just in case this battle goes on for longer than I think. Wait, what are you? I smelt you on the way up. How dare you trespass on my territory? Prepare to get eaten. Come, Saber, it's mealtime. The saber tooth tiger is under the control of this shaman. Don't worry, saber tooth. I will save you from the shaman. Oh my god, you do so much damage. Back up. Hold on, hold on. Wait a second. We can talk this over. Let's try to use our bow. We can also set it on fire. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save the saber tooth. I feel like I should be fighting the shaman that is having it be under its control. Can I attack him? No, I can't. I'm gonna have to fight the saber tooth. Oh, my boat is so much damage. We got it. Thanks for freeing me from the caveman. I can help you travel the world if you want. I'm just very hungry. Do you have any food? I do indeed have food. Oh, we tamed it. Wait, the shaman caveman just completely disappeared. Do I care? Not really. I'm actually super excited that we now have a pet saber tooth tiger. Look at his teeth. They're like giant T Rex choppers. Next up is the T-Rex. Whoa, wait, the yak attacked me, but the saber tooth tiger is literally destroying it. That's a good little kitty. I shall name you Spleen Chomper. Spleen Chomper? Okay, what's the best approach to go down this entire mountain? Uh, very slowly and very steadily, I think. Wait, the saber tooth is crazy good at scaling and descaling the mountain. That's pretty impressive. Whoa, the birds are on me. Spleen Chomper, chomp the spleen. Come on down, bird. I flip and dare you. Spleen Chomper, kill it. I'm gonna hide behind Spleen Chomper's butt. Go, go, go. Get it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kitty, kill it, kitty. We're playing ring around the rosy around the saber tooth. Where'd the bird go? Come on down, you overgrown eagle. Whoa. And come on. Got him. Let's go, Spleen Chomper. No spleens were chomped today quite yet, but they will be. Whoa, what is that? Wait, it's one of the skeletal pterodactyls. I am sick and tired of dealing with all of these flying creatures that keep biting my eyeballs. Come on down. Time to die. That's right, you did. Spleen Chomper, let's keep moving. We've discovered the T-Rex graveyard. There's also a giant hole over there in the side of the mountain. Why? I don't like you. Don't worry, Spleen Chomper. Just, just disregard them. It's going to be okay. Wait, what is that over there? I see another one of the shaman. There's just a pile of bones on the ground. Dude, I need to deal with these birds. Somebody has to put a stop to this. <laughs> and I guess that person's me. Beck Pro Bird Biter. They just keep coming. Hello? Wait, what? He's speaking different languages. Whoa. 
I think he did some sort of ritual to bring the T-Rex to life. Oh my gosh! Spleen Chopper, I don't know if this man has a spleen. He's also not a man, he's a giant dinosaur. Spleen Chopper, we might have to change your name to Bone Chopper for the time being because I need you to go ahead and start chopping some bones here, pal. Oh my goodness! They're fighting each other! This is amazing! Okay, I'll try to get some snipes off in the meantime. Yo, it's actually working! Spleen Chopper is taking some massive damage, though. No! I lost him! Dude, the T-Rex does so much damage! You will pay. Yes, we did it. What did I get in return? I got two netherite. I just want Spleen Chomper back. And just like the last time, the caveman completely disappeared. But it looks like they left behind a chest. We'll take the totem of undying. And we also have three saber tooth spawns. Wait, this must be how the caveman was able to spawn them in. It just had a bunch of different spawn eggs. Oh, I have to beat him again. I'm so sorry. Spleen Chomper 2.0, you are now mine. Uh, it is a happy ending. We did it. And now we just need to activate this. And the portal should take me back home. But Spleen Chomper, you're coming back with me. Let's do this.